back in the shave den today and it's time for another shave. I'm bringing out some uh, old favorites and something new. I figured I'm gonna kind of pamper myself today. So I had a package. Well, actually you've probably seen me use this in the past. Sebum Gold. This, I mean, it's the Rolls Royce of aftershave products. And I got a new mail call. That is the regular, sh and look man, I mean, it just, <laughs> it looks like I'm getting uh, some kind of valuable antique in the mail. They package this so well, so well. And here we go. You're seeing me open this for the first time. There we go. Sebum Purple Post Shave Balm. Now, if you notice, she's empty because this is the container that holds it. And in the package is the refill. I'm just going to go straight from the refill and I'll fill that up later. They really come with excellent packaging. I mean, cork container, just, just awesome. Just awesome. So I'm going to be treating myself today. I'm going to be using probably one of the most expensive razors I purchased, and that's the uh, Rockwell 6S, setting number two, with some Shaver Boy blades in there. They're from Canada. Somebody had asked, hey man, you haven't used Shaver Boy in a while, and uh, I figure I would do that, opening up this right now. Hopefully all goes well. So I need to get it ready at the side here. Get the cork out. I goofed last time, I broke the cork a little bit. There we go. It, it really is the Rolls Royce of uh, aftershave, post-shave serum. I'm gonna be using this. And uh, somebody had asked, hey man, what's up with the Millionario? We haven't seen you use it in a while, so we're gonna use that. I was gonna be using some uh, Skull Busters for the love of leather, but I'll save that till next time. And I have another package from Third Pass Shaving that I have to open and try. But today, we'll use the millionari Millionario. I'm not even sure if they still make it, Italian Barber. I have to go check it out. And I'm using the uh, DS Cosmetic, Cosmetic, the flat top. <laughs> really like that flat top. I mean, like I said, I showed it before. Let me get a good example. Most of my other brushes are the round, but this flat, I mean, what a difference, huh? just kind of whips the lather up kind of good. And they're very reasonably priced, so I cannot complain. Oh. Now, I'm growing my mustache for my uh, Halloween costume. So some of you are gonna say, hey, you're growing a mustache again, and Movember is coming. Open up the Millionario. No shave November. So uh, maybe I'll have to grow out the goatee for that to make a, uh, you guys are supposed to, you know, we're supposed to grow our mustaches or our beards out for Movember. So Halloween's October 31st. I might have to just trans, uh, translate, transpose right from uh, mustache to uh, goatee. <laughs> Mailman's here. That dog ever got out. <sighs> it's gonna go on. Hey, hey, hey! We're shaving here. Hey, knock it off. You can try to be on camera. Don't know if you can see him. There he is. Ah, wants to be on camera, that guy. See, I like that flat brush. Works very well. Oh, well, I'm late getting out a, uh, a shave since the last one. I uh, actually had a couple of 12 hour days. I wanna make sure that that uh, auto exposure is locked on my forehead there. I had a couple of 12 hour days last week and to be honest, I was in the field all day. And uh, I was pretty beat. I 
I missed the uh, Riverside Wet Shave meetup at Lake Alice Trading Company on Saturday. It was my uh, daughter's birthday and we had the relatives out and uh, kind of a big celebration weekend. So I do apologize for that. I think I've had a few times where I've missed the meets because I'm either in Las Vegas out of town and bowling or it's somebody's birthday. Man, heavy, heavy. Now two's not biting it too bad. I probably should have went with a three. But it is taking it down. And man, I'm digging in there. And it's holding together. All right. Oh. Yeah, I took most of it. Left a little. The new Magnum PI starts tonight on CBS at 9 o'clock. So I'll probably be passed out. You know, you get up at 5 a.m. I get up. So uh, I end up falling asleep around nine. So I just, oh, I guess if I was getting up a little bit later, I could probably stay up a lot later. Oh, and I went to Disneyland on a Friday with my daughter. Hadn't been in a while. And you know, have you ever been to Disneyland? Do you remember when, I guess it was 64, was it? When they opened up Pirates of the Caribbean, Walt Disney really liked that ride and they had some funny scenes we want the redhead and they took it out it is no longer politically correct so they took that what was it by a winch for a bride you know it's kind of a funny scene but it's gone and it just seems like it's kind of a bummer. They put this in its place. Oh, you scurvy scoundrel! Do I hear ten? A hen for a ten! Ten! I give you not hungry for the wrong. Hunt down, you <laughs> little liver lover! So then you got Red the Pirate, and they're, uh... They're selling chickens. I mean, uh... My daughter said, what's next? Are they going to take away the swords because the pirates use swords and, you know, I don't know. Maybe it's good they took it out. I don't think so. I'm not too happy with it. But if you go to Disneyland now, the Pirates of the Caribbean you see is not going to be the same. And I don't know if they did that in Florida. You guys from Florida, did they take, uh, did they change the Pirates of the Caribbean ride in Florida? Ugh. Mustache is coming in slow but sure. Now this serum, man, it, it really, it's organic jojoba oil, virgin red raspberry seed oil, squalene oil from olives, virgin passion fruit seed oil, virgin organic argon oil and eo blend apply a dime size drop to clean dry skin warning if pouring into another bottle make sure it's it is dry of water yeah i guess we don't want to uh and that's the refill our hydrated serum rejuvenates skin with antitoxins vitamins minerals and a balanced extract of uh, to mimic 
your natural lipid barrier. And I really have to watch my skin, guys, because uh, being from England and this California sun, in fact, I gotta go to the dermatologist again. You probably see I've got some, you know, where they burn, you know, the precancerous stuff off. All right, dime size. No burn. Very nice smell. My wife's gonna like that. Very nice. How does it compare to the other? Let me see here. That was the purple. I don't wanna spill this everywhere. Both smell good, but the purple smells real good. All right. I guess it is a millionaire shave. Well, there we have it. Not a nick, too. And number two, I was number two. Setting number two, I was <laughs> pressing down pretty darn hard on that razor. But shaver boy blades. All right. Got a lot of items to review coming up, and I've got my 7,000 subscriber video giveaway to come up, uh, coming up. Just need to get some time to put it together, but it'll be coming up pretty soon, so stay tuned. All right, everybody, thank you very much for watching. Have a great evening. Check out the websites uh, of the products used in this video. Uh, I'll put it in the description. Uh, really, really good products and a very, 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 very satisfying shave today. All right, till next time, it's Ken Sir saying have a great night.